Shane Inman here with Remax Estate Properties, and today I thought we would talk about what it's like buying a property during COVID. I'm Kirsten Green here, and today we were just going to go over kind of what their process was like. They bought a home in Redondo Beach last August, so about a year ago now, and it was kind of the height of um, COVID and restrictions and different protocols. And so um, just kind of compare what it was like to buy a home in that process and what it's like to buy a home in a normal market. First off, what were some things that you felt like were different about the home buying process compared to normally? Uh, the first thing I would point out would be just seeing properties and the protocols that we had to go through in comparison to when we were buying a property out of the COVID era. So uh, a lot more forms and paperwork and making sure to schedule more in advance and making sure a lot of times the other Asian is there and all the masks and gloves and so there were there were a lot of different protocols and so it wasn't as easy to just book six appointments on a Saturday and have things lined up however you wanted to line them up. You really had to be more flexible in, as to when you were going to see something because it had to meet everybody's schedule. Absolutely. Uh, before there were PED forms, so property entry advisory forms had to be signed for every property you went in. You had to wear gloves and a mask and um, now those forms are not uh, needed, but there's still a lot of properties are still requiring you to book an appointment in order to see the property because they don't want multiple people in a home at a time. Uh, now open houses have come back, so uh, that opens things up a little bit more. So things are, are slowly opening back up of, of California, kind of all over California, things are opening back up. So that definitely helps relax regulations a little bit. Um, what were some things... So you guys purchased a property without seeing the inside of the house. And to give you guys a little bit of background, um, you know, we'd been searching for a long time and they'd been seeing, like she said, we'd been seeing quite a few properties. We, we had lost. And we'd lost we'd out. We'd lost out on a few, a few properties that, you know, the market was still extremely hot and there were lots of people bidding on properties and things going way over asking price. And so this was, this was an ongoing process. Yeah. So, so you guys narrowed down the street that you wanted to be on and after and we lost out on one on that same street and so in with how competitive offers were it just became a point where the only way we could really get the property was if they were willing to uh, put in an offer and get accepted without seeing it until the inspection period which is a little bit stressful a little scary you know? a little <laughs> bit stressful but um, it's not uncommon now I've had quite a few clients that have done that because like you said they've lost out on other properties and they've gotten frustrated and they're just like you know what this gives me a little bit better odds and I do still have my contingency I can back out on or in some cases and so um, um, that right. that helps and I think ultimately also in the South Bay in the area that we were looking at you were buying based on location yeah. and so we knew that we could remodel on the inside or we could make changes and so it wasn't didn't need to be exactly how we wanted it to be just to move into it but um, yeah it can be a little bit stressful and in that situation there were renters in the property that were immunocompromised, and so they really didn't want anybody in the home for that for that process at all. So. And that tends to be the situation where there are no uh, viewings until the accepted offer is when there is a, a tenant in there that is um, immunocompromised or just doesn't want a lot of people coming in and out because they have ultimately have uh, the say in things as long as um, the restrictions are in place. One of our properties was bought, say, 17 years ago. Another property was bought maybe about 10 years ago. So I've seen what that has changed, what's changed a lot, and so much more is online. And there's benefits to that as well. But also, you know, I'm sometimes in a situation where, you know, either my husband's traveling or, or so getting us both to sign. And so I guess in, in this situation, when it's all, when it is online and we're in different places, it is easier. But 
It's also trying to get two people tied down and getting all the paperwork. And I feel like with the COVID, there was just there way was more. so much more paperwork to do with yeah. COVID, and so DocuSign definitely made that easier because you can you know click a button and, and sign as many forms as you need to sign, and um, that was encouraged because they didn't want a bunch of papers sitting right. around. So. Uh, and then video tours, I think, have gotten better um, be Definitely. because, you know, people want to see a property and, and they can make a pretty good judgment on whether or not they are interested off a video tour. And then obviously they want to see it in person. But in some cases, yeah, depending on how competitive but, the market but is. But right, that. But then a lot of times, you know, it, it's just like when you're trying to rent a VRBO or whatever, you, you look at the photos and you're like, this place is fabulous. And then when you get into it, I mean, everyone can take great photos. Yeah. So you have to put that into perspective yeah. a little bit, too. But. Um, well, things like Matterport is something that's come about. Matterport is, you know, they give the dollhouse view and then you can go zoom in from there. Right. That, that's something I think that's really taken off because I think before before COVID, people were like, well, just see it in person. Why do I need to see a dollhouse of it? But now it's like, okay, this is really helpful. I can go for a full walkthrough of the house before going and walking through the house. And so I'm not seeing a bunch of properties that I don't actually need to see in person. Well, in actuality, that's very convenient when you're actually not living in the town or city. You're actually currently buying them. Yeah. So you can definitely never can get down, down. Can, uh, connect things down and get a better idea of what, what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So I think, you know, with COVID, interest rates dropped quite a bit um, because, you know, it's stimulating the economy and, and interest rates are still pretty low. So that's kept the market really competitive. And so I think that's where a lot of people have um, put their money towards real estate and that's made the offers keep going higher and higher. It's I feel like it's starting to level off a little bit as more people are feeling comfortable putting their homes on the market. Other people, the other thing was there was a, a drastic short of in, shortage of in, inventory because people were afraid of having people come in and out of their house. Now that's slowly opening a little bit better so um, those kind of things I think will help um, but yeah through COVID I think the things that were really different were signing 100 forms for every property you wanted to see setting up appointments uh, to see a property so you can't really time your day out because you have to be at another appointment one after another so yeah, I mean, I think there was a lot of more um, organization through COVID and it's probably good, but at the same time, um, yeah, if you're, you're buying and, and there's a bunch of other people out there, it's stressful. And so I don't, some of these things are gonna be a new normal, uh, like I said, DocuSign and hopefully not escalating uh, prices over and over again. But, um, but yeah, I think uh, it's, it's made buyers more prepared because they're not just going to go look for a home. They know exactly what they want and how they're going to um, set up their offer and be ready to go if the, the property they see is, is is ready to go. And so I think that streamlines the property and makes sure or the, the offers and makes sure that people are serious about it. Um, right. I think also from my perspective, where we purchased multiple homes might be very very different perspective than maybe someone who this is their, their first, first time. time buying a home yeah. because I can think back to when it was our first time and I probably wouldn't Wasn't have ready. done it yeah. with COVID and yeah. there's no probably no possible way I would have done you would have done sight unseen, unseen. Yeah. right so you know it was not our first rodeo exactly. and so that it makes a big difference yeah. I think yeah if you're a new buyer or you're looking to sell in this ever-changing market feel free to call text or email me for tips and tricks on where to begin. I'm Shane Inman with Remax Estate Properties. Thank you so much for watching.